Hello and welcome. My name is Shannon. My pronouns are they, them. And today we have an energizing flow. So these movements I find really helpful when I need a bit of a pick me up. Sometimes I practice in the morning or throughout the day when I'm kind of just craving movement occasionally. Um, I'm going to be using a chair because I do think that this is something that's really helpful, maybe even in the middle of the work day to kind of get us over the hump. Um, but if you don't want to use a chair, that's cool. You can use blocks or you can bring the hands all the way down to the mat if that's something that's comfortable for you. We will be practicing one assisted downward dog. I'm going to be using the chair, but you can also bring your hands to the wall. If a mat downward dog is in your practice, feel free to substitute that there as well. So when we're ready, we're going to come into a comfortable standing position. If you like, you can do this whole thing facing the chair so you have that support. I'm going to be kind of turning to show you what different postures look like. So when we're ready, grounding down, taking a few deep breaths, feeling that connection down through the mat, finding our Tadasana, lifting through the crown of the head. Beautiful. And when we're ready, we're going to start with a few arm circles. So on our inhale, lifting the arms up and bringing them down. Now, if we like, we can add in the neck, looking up on the inhale, looking down on the exhale. We'll do three to four of these, depending on how we feel. I'm going to go for four. So this is my last one here. And on the next inhale, I'm going to bring the arms up and I'm going to keep them up. So from here, I'm going to come into a subtle back bend. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see here, bringing the shoulders back, maybe bringing the hands a little bit further back than the shoulders if that's comfortable. If we like, we can shine the heart forward, go as deep or as shallow as feels good. Beautiful. On our next inhale, we'll come up and then we're going to come into a forward fold. So hinging at the hips, bringing the arms forward, down to our chair, down to our blocks, down to the mat. Taking a few moments here. So when we're ready, we're going to bring a bend into the knees. We'll sweep the arms forward and up, coming back into our back bend. And we're going to do about three of these. So exhaling forward, bringing the bend into the knees, sweeping the arms forward and up. Beautiful. Exhaling down. Bringing the bend in, sweeping forward. Last one, hinging forward at the hips. Bend in the knees, sweeping the arms forward and up. Beautiful, we'll hold in our back bend for a moment. Strengthen, lengthen the spine, and we're gonna come into a twist. So I'm gonna bring my right hand forward, left arm back, opening up towards the left side, taking a few, Deep breaths, noticing what we're feeling. Beautiful. On our inhale, bringing the arms back up, bringing the shoulders back through center. We're going to bring left hand forward, right hand back. Beautiful. Reaching the arms up. One more time. Right hand forward, left arm back. I know sometimes standing, inhaling up, coming back through center. Left hand forward, right hand down can actually give us a bit deeper twist, especially if our belly sometimes gets in the way. Inhaling up. Beautiful. We're going to bring the arms down. Take a moment. Take any movement through the shoulders that is helpful here. From here, we're going to come into our chair assisted or wall assisted downward dog. So if we're at the wall, we'll bring our hands to chest height to start. If we're at the chair, we're going to come right up to the chair. Hinge forward at the hips into a forward fold. And likewise, if we'd like to practice this on the mat, we can come into a forward fold like with our blocks, our hands, against, our hands against the blocks or the mat, and then step back into our downward dog. So once we feel secure, we can hold the sides of the chair, hands on the chair, whatever feels comfortable. We're going to step the legs back a few steps until we feel like we can pull the sit bones over the ankle area. Remember, we can keep a bend in the knees. We're looking for length through the shoulders. So maybe bringing the ears between the shoulders if that's comfortable. We're going to be here for about five breaths. 
Taking any movement we like, we can walk the dog, bending one knee, then the other. Or we can stay static if that feels better. Then when we're ready, we'll slowly begin to walk the feet forward back towards the base of the chair and press up to stand it. standing. From here, we're gonna come through a half or half, couple of half sun salutations. So when we're ready, on our inhale, reaching the arms forward and up, upward salute, exhale, hinging forward at the hips, forward fold. On our inhale, we're gonna find half fold, finding length through the spine, and then exhale back into our forward fold. We can bring a bend into the knees, sweeping the arms forward and up. Exhale, hands to heart center and to the sides. I'm gonna go for two more. Go for as many as you like here. Inhaling up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half fold. Exhale, fold. Bend in the knees, sweeping the arms up. Hands to heart center and to the sides. Beautiful, last one. Inhaling up. Exhale, hinging forward for a forward fold. Inhale, finding length through the spine. Exhale, fold, bending the knees, sweeping the arms forward and up, hands to your heart center and to the sides. Beautiful, we'll take a few moments at the end of our practice to add in any movement that feels good here. I usually like a little bit of rocking side to side, a little bit of shaking taking whatever we feel like we need for a little bit of a cool down, a little bit of gradual or intuitive movement. So maybe a little side to side. If we feel like we need some movement through the knees, we might come through our little twist, anything that feels good here. If we like, we can take a moment to find a bit of stillness if that's what our body's craving, either standing or seated, or we can move on with our day whatever we need. Maybe taking a moment to thank ourselves for our practice, for making space for ourselves. And I'd like to thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today. Have a great day and I hope to see you soon.